So as many of the farmers have announced, this winter storm Elliot coming down at polar vortex, whatever, coming out. We're supposed to get that starting Friday. We're supposed to be in the 30s, 40 degrees, and we're supposed to plummet down to just about zero real quick. Uh, so gonna be a little bit of rain on the front side of that. But uh, so what we're doing today is we're getting everything ready. Um, we're gonna make sure all the cows are good. We're gonna clean up the stuff across the road because all the cows got moved over. I didn't get much footage of the cows getting moved over because it went so fast, so seamless, so perfect. Big thanks to Dot Dot and Dylan for coming down and helping Becky and I. But uh, so all the cows are now over and in the barn. Uh, so we got a bunch of work we wanna do in here to get everything ready for them for this bitterly cold weather. It's not gonna get as cold as they're getting up there in Wyoming. Our Wyoming life, you guys are getting nailed pretty good. Welker Farms are getting nailed pretty good. All these, all these YouTubers, all those folks are getting nailed pretty hard. Uh, Sunny Farms, all of them. All them ones that you see on there, they'll probably put up some really good footage of what's going on out there. But out here, we're supposed to get zero degrees for our actual temperatures and then they're saying up to 50 mile an hour wind gust. So it's gonna get cold. Everything's gonna be coming from the west. So it's all gonna be coming from kind of that way. So getting everything tightened up, cleaned up, so that way the cows are ready to go. So we're gonna go over across the road, take down all that summer stuff. So that way that doesn't get beat up by the wind coming across. And then come over here, do some work over here too. Get everything ready for these guys. So that way nobody's getting cold. They're gonna be a little chilly, but nobody's gonna be too bad. So they're all kind of enjoying the sunshine. It's gonna be about 35 today or so, real nice and sunny. So they're all outside sunning themselves, getting real nice and hot with that with that fur. So let's keep on rolling. Across the road we go. Here we go. So this that we put up's gotta come down. That's gotta come down. And that sunshade's gotta come down. And then of course we'll just pull the two white things out of there. And then this side of the road will be cleaned up for winter for the most part. Uh hey, so they're playing in the corn. And I think they're gonna shell this corn off today. So that'll be get it off before the wind tatters it down any more than it already is. So but uh we're gonna get this all off of here and keep on rolling. So what's nice about this is we actually attach that board to the back. So what I'm gonna do is fold that all in on itself and roll it up and it'll be good to go. Now it's surely not perfect by any means, but better than what it was. Take these off, I'll we'll leave them on it. I think we might use this across the road. I'm thinking. We'll see. That sunshade, it's held on with that one by board up on top there, a whole way across, and it's clipped to the fence down below. So what we'll do is we will uh, take that one by board off first, and we'll screw them up in the barn for the winter. So we'll take that off, and then we'll unclip it from that, and then we'll fold it up.
And there it is. All broken down. Everything all put away for next year. We're going to work on getting that hay feeder out. That'll be another project, but not a high priority. We got all this done. That was the priority. So, glad to see it done. Uh, it's ready to go for next year. Well, of course, in the spring here, we'll clean all this up. All of that will get spread out there. So, now we got this stuff down. We got to go to the other side of the road and get it ready for the storm so we got our board put in across here so this part's going to be filled in this part's going to be open as you can see plenty of room for them to get in here what i'm trying to do is block the wind coming in this portion as you can see we have the end of the barn pretty well everything's pretty well sealed up except that little piece there over there sealed up so we're going to get a little piece in there it's going to be white so that way it'll let a little bit of the light through it's not as much and it surely will slow down a lot of wind there you guys so we still got a little bit of cleaning here to do, but uh, so the wind that's going to come in that barn, the barn on that end, it shouldn't make its way through the barn as bad uh, with these up. So we always usually put a little, something, a little something right there, but this time we're putting these in between. I found that little short one. I figured I'd throw it in there. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, looks like the camera's a little dirty. There we go. There you go. So, you guys ready? So there on the barn, on that lower side, there was supposed to be a board. It was there, had everything framed in, ready to put that on there. And well, somebody was horse playing and broke it off. So, we learned, I'm just not gonna put that there. They could, that'll move a little bit. So if they hit it with their head or something, yeah. Anyway, so that's gonna slow down about three foot of snow, rain, wind, whatever we end up with, whatever it is. That's ready. Are you ready, girly? Huh? Are you ready? Okay. Oh, well. And this right here is the product of him. I can tell it was you. I know it was you, Oreo. Yeah, I know it was you. Oh, there's some more of the cord. Huh. Does this taste good, huh? Does that taste good? So next day, um, weather's just starting to turn kind of crappy, just starting to misty rain or whatever. Uh, so we got a few more things to do in the barn, uh, and then we also have uh, we also have some things to unload. We got some bedding this morning, got some fuel, uh, what else? A couple other things. Uh, so we're gonna get all those things unloaded, done, what have you. Uh, then we'll have everything hopefully done. We got we're gonna bed the barn. A whole bunch of things trying to get everything done before tomorrow tomorrow morning uh we are to switch over from rain supposed to be rain about five in the morning or whatever from the last radar radar and stuff i've been watching five o'clock supposed to be like 35 degrees by 9 a.m we're supposed to be down to around nine seven to nine degrees so that's a that's a pretty steep drop for just a couple hours um and with that everything's gonna freeze up you know, we want our cows to be dry, our goats to be dry, uh, chicken to be dry. Uh, so we, we got to make sure all those things are done. Uh, we want to make sure we're going to put some out, something else up here. Uh, just try to keep some more of the wind and weather out of, out of the barn. Try to keep it a little bit more drier. Every bit drier we can make it, the less bedding we're going to use. So we're going to run home. We're on our way home now. We're gonna get home, take care of that. Like I said, a little running around we had to do today. Uh, I want to get it done before it really started to get wet and nasty out, which we did. So successfully done there. Uh, we got a couple things I want to get done as soon as we get back. Uh, and then I guess we'll see. This video is kind of all over the place of where we're going, what we're doing. That's just the way my life's been the last couple days. 
is all over the place. So, uh, but see what happens here. Uh, we'll do this video and then our next one uh, will be during the storm. Beck will have to do the filming of that because I actually have to work this weekend. Uh, it's Christmas weekend. Uh, hopefully everybody has a wonderful Christmas. Uh, but Beck will be doing the filming for over the weekend, kind of watching how it is in the barn, how, how the wind is, how the weather is, how cold it is outside. So, but uh, stick around. A lot more stuff to do, get done in the barn. So uh, thanks for sticking around this far. So the black thing is gonna go right there and probably cover from that end to about right there. It's gonna seal that off the most part. Some air will get through, of course. Uh, but a lot of it will be slowed down. The snow will be slowed down. The rain will be slowed down. Still allow the air to come in. But this end will still be open. But at least try to cut down on some of it. Because that wind is going to be coming from... I'm not really quite sure it's going to be coming from that way. We're coming from that way yet. How y'all doing? Huh? Y'all look pretty good. So we're going to get that up there. It's just me, so I'm not sure if I'll get much of it on film. We are going to roll this thing. So hopefully I can unroll it up there pretty easily. There we go. One more time. There we are. Okay, we're gonna try it. It's all unfolded now. I just gotta put a board down on that end down there. And then it's blocking about two and two and a quarter, two and a half of the pens there. So hopefully I'll slow down a lot of the rain and wind coming in here tonight and tomorrow. So oh and Sunday too. So hopefully I'm gonna slow down all that stuff that's coming in there. We'll see what happens. And this is why. And this is why you guys get in trouble. I think it's your little hideout now. Turd. I guess I've been kind of bad. I've kept forgetting to introduce Chicoletta. So this is the chicken. Uh, it found us. We didn't find it. Hop, skip, and jump. There she goes. So those next to the goats. So those in a dog crate covered up. But... We are going to put a heater in here for her somehow. I'm not quite sure how safely we're going to do this. But we are going to do it safely. Uh, when it's getting cold, she needs to have a little warmth. More than just what she gets out of that. So, we are going to put... It won't be a heat lamp. I mean, it's going to be one of them panel safe ones. Gets too hot, shut off type deal. That way nothing gets burnt down. But anyways, she's going to go in there. See what, uh, see what happens. 
So we bought this chicken coop heater thing, as you can see what it's supposed to do. I think we're gonna put it in the side there and then screw it down. See how it works. So we'll see. I don't know. Here we'll put the legs on it. Should sit there pretty good. Pretty simple to install. There's one. And there's the other. Just like that. Okay, now let's get in here. What we're gonna do we probably do is I'll probably drill little holes and put screws down there so that way it doesn't move. But let's get it in there and see what it does. One of the last things we need to do before the storm and everything, it's just starting to really actually rain now, so the cows are outside getting wet, so I want to get them in. But we're going to get all new bedding put down in their bed packs. Uh, this way they stay nice and dry through this whole thing. With that curtain up there, I mean, it's kind of hard to, there we go, that curtain up there, that is blocking a lot of the rain that usually comes and blows right in here. So we're blocking a lot of that. Something's going over in the goat's pen, but we'll have to deal with that. That's not the end of the world. We'll deal with it. But, uh, we gotta get the stuff down, so. Everything's all nice, dusted in. That's what we call dusted in. Rebedded. I see it's raining outside, so I'm gonna open up the gates. The gate, I guess you could say, and let everybody come in. We're gonna get them a new bale here too. So they've eaten this one up pretty well. So we'll get them new bale. This stuff's pretty stemmy. So they're not gonna eat a lot of this. We'll actually push some of it down that way because these calves get up here. I don't like it, but they do. They get up here and they lay down there a lot. With the wind that's gonna be coming in, a nice little mound down there wouldn't be a bad thing. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. They actually eat this stuff. I, I don't know how, but they do. I don't know what's in it that they like. What it is is... They grind up switchgrass and blue stem and whatever else, and of course, they always like to poop on it. Yep, eat that down, girly. Eat it down. But there's mounds of it in there. They'll level it out. And then, of course, as we always add some periodically anyway. So this is done. All the wind breaks are in. That wind breaks in. That wind breaks in. The only thing left to do is I need to clean the water out. That's about the only thing left other than putting a bale in for them. Uh, and we'll be ready for the storm, which I'll be pretty happy about. Everybody's pretty, pretty good. So I guess we'll hunker down and see how everything lasts in here. Hi right, guys. These are the waters. Uh, there's still a little bit of dirt in the bottom, but it's so hard to get them with the dust that's in here right now. But uh, the water comes up from down below down from the ground of course down there uh and then comes right into this float here we turn it on like that and then the float will of course work you know raise lower so on and so forth of course but uh and that topper goes on it gets a couple screws put in it stay uh and we're fighting huh of course but anyways we got this cleaned out for the most part, there's a little bit of dust going back in it. So we're going to get that turned on, and then get the lid on. And like I said, that float just will shut that water on and off there. So, But we'll get this lid back on. As you see, they're playing with it. So anyways, there we go. See how it, I was kind of curious to see what the water looked like. Just a little cloudy. That's just from the dust that was stirred up in here while they were just running right. around in here. So nothing really to be too worried about. So anyways, that'll go in there. Like I said, this thing takes a couple couple screws right here just to keep the lid down. The latch in the front don't work real well. So it's just a little extra added security. It's a little dusty in here to say. I hear you. It's a little dusty in here to say the least. I'm gonna throw a bale in for him, get that part cleaned up, throw a bale in for him. Uh, and then uh, 
we'll see what happens. Uh, everybody's in here just eating the bedding and stirring it up tremend tremendously. But what are we gonna do? So thanks for sticking around for the video. A couple days here, just trying to get everything ready before this winter storm, Elliot or whatever comes in. So I know the guys out west, man, they're getting pounded right now uh, with the wind. Uh, that wind is going to be here tomorrow morning for us. It's a, it's a bit windy right now, breezy windy. Uh, nothing uncommon for us, though. But, so, tomorrow is going to be, like I said, it's going to start off about 35, and in about three hours it's supposed to drop down to... Can I help you, Spotty? It's supposed to drop down to like 9 to 7 and down to 0. So, we're going to watch cows real close these next couple days here because... We don't need anybody getting pneumonia or anything like that. That's what we're watching for. We're going to watch your snotty noses coughing, aside from the coughing from the bedding. But we're going to be watching these guys real close. Beck, like I said, will be watching them closer. I work this weekend, um, so we'll keep updates coming. Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, Christmas weekend here. If you're out traveling, please drive safe. Take a little extra time. This wind is going to be bad. This flash freeze for tomorrow for us is going to be bad. Uh, like I said, it's raining right now. It's about 35 to 40 degrees right now. And by tomorrow morning, we're going to be down uh, single digits, uh, negative degree wind chills real quick. I think we're supposed to be like negative uh, 20 to negative 30 on the wind chills for tomorrow night. Uh, I know it's going to be not real normal for us. Usually getting down in the low teens and zero, that's, you know, that's not a big deal, but this can be a big deal. So thanks for sticking around for the whole video. Greatly appreciate it. Give that... Uh, thumbs up button give that a hit give that subscribe button i think it's gray or uh black now it used to be red but hit that subscribe button push us keep pushing this channel we're doing we keep gaining subscribers we're making some headway you know i'm happy with how we're going uh, always love new viewers new subscribers so thanks for sticking around hope to see you in the next one merry christmas have a good one everybody